One tragedy after another. What's this painful summer doing to us? Britain has been shaken by big, tragic events before. Of course it has. But still, this feels different. Calamity after calamity, and in such quick succession. In the summer of 2017, we've barely had time to absorb one tragedy when another has come along, knocking the first one off the front page and knocking us off our feet. In the space of a single month, we've grieved the dead of the Manchester Arena, of London Bridge, of Grenfell Tower, and now the Finsbury Park Mosque. In normal times, any one of those episodes might alone have counted as the dominant news event of the year. But now they've come within days of each other. It means we've had no time to process what we're seeing or what we're feeling. Death struck the Finsbury Park Mosque hours before we were due to have a minute silence for Grenfell Tower. And bear in mind, just a couple of months before the Manchester bombing, Westminster Bridge witnessed a terror attack similar to the ones at London Bridge and Finsbury Park. This is hard for the emergency services, who are being stretched as never before. It's a struggle for government and media. After all, this turbulent month also included a general election. But it's the rest of us I'm thinking of. How does a society digest such major shocks at this kind of speed? Grief has a metabolic rate, and it's hard to accelerate it. We need more time than events are allowing us. Time for the families involved to grieve, but also time for everyone else to pause and adjust. Without it, there's a risk that some of our wounds might never properly heal, or a different risk that we might become inured to this suffering, that we'll come to regard it as a new normal, even on some level to accept it. Our hearts might harden. This summer of sorrow is coming at us too hard and too fast. We need time. Above all, we need a break. We need the horror to stop.